Hey YouTubers, Daryl here. This video is on how to center your T56 trimming transmission to the center line of your engine's crankshaft. Now normally when you purchase a brand new transmission, you are recommended to center your transmission to the center line of the engine's crankshaft. And normally this is not really that hard to do. You just take your bell housing, attach it to your engine, and you use your hole that the transmission fits into on that bell housing as a gauge to center that bell housing to the center line of your crankshaft of that engine. Well, <clears throat> it seems that most of the bell housings used to attach a T56 transmission to the engine, the hole that the transmission would fit into where that input shaft goes is not symmetrical. And as a result, you can't use a dial indicator to find the center line or line up the center line of where that transmission would be to the center line of the crankshaft. So with the T56 transmission you have to take the front cover off, attach that front cover to the bell housing, attach all that to the engine, and then use the hole that the input shaft of the of the transmission goes into as your symmetrical center and use a dial indicator to line that up to the center line of your crankshaft center line. You're only allowed 5,007 inch off tolerance. So for me, I decided to do it. The place that I bought the transmission from did not recommend doing it because you have to disassemble the transmission. Well, the only thing you have to do is just take the front cover off and it's really not that hard to do. <clears throat> In fact, there is a, a video on YouTube on how to do that uh, done by a person who does work on these transmissions all the time and he showed that it's, it's pretty easy. So those are the steps that I took. So I put together this video to show how easy it really is to do if you need to do it. <clears throat> My main reason for doing it is that this, year, this transmission only has a one year warranty. So I don't drive this car that much to put that many miles on it to see if a problem is occurring because it's out of tolerance. It may occur you know, by the time that the warranty is over. So just to be safe, I did it. So here's the video on how to center a T56 transmission to the center line of at least a big block Chevrolet engine. Enjoy the video. Okay, we have the transmission on end. I made a hole in a block of wood so that we sit on the case and not the input or output shaft or the seal. And we're going to remove all these bolts here to take the front cover off so we can dial in the transmission to the crankshaft of the engine. Okay, we got all the bolts removed. Now we're going to pry the cover off. There's two pry points. One here. One over here. Hey YouTubers, okay, you've seen the first segment of this video uh, section <clears throat> and you will notice that I had the transmission sitting on its end instead of sitting on its belly like it would be sitting in the car. Now the reason I did that is if you take the front cover off this transmission while it's sitting on its belly, the input shaft, the synchronizer ring and some other pieces will just fall out. Now. If you want to keep this procedure simple and you don't want to worry about pieces falling out and where to put them back, 
you just put this transmission on the end, on its end, and then as you take that front cover off and lift it off, the input shaft and all those synchronized, the synchronizer ring and the pieces just stay put. They don't come out at all. So it's just one less thing for you to worry about falling out and having to put back into this transmission. Now you will also notice that as I pried that cover loose that it was a little hard to get it off the front of the transmission. Now the reason for that was <clears throat> you will note in the video and I go over this a little bit more in one of the later segments, I think it's the last one, that <clears throat> in the front cover there is a screw at the top or a plug and in that, in that plug there's going to be a spring and a little ball and that ball contacts the shifter rail which has some notches in it. And again, you'll see that in the video that there's some notches and that helps you know, keep the, when you shift like into first, that keeps that shifter there. And then when you shift to neutral, it keeps it there. And then you shift it down to second and so forth. You know, it helps keep that shifter in position. That's what those notches on that rail do. And that ball helps keep it there. So by taking that off, taking that ball and spring out or just the spring out, it makes lifting that cover off easy and it also will make it easier putting it back on without any effort. All right, so on to the next video segment. Okay, okay. All right, here we're doing a dial indicating. You see the center and you can see I marked the front plate of the transmission. And you can see that made some marks. There it starts at it's 10 out. And there it hits that mark. It goes start going back to zero. Now it hits a zero mark. It doesn't change. It doesn't go below zero. And now it starts going back to the 90 mark. And stop. And you can see we're about ten thousandths out. So split the difference. That's five thousandths. That's the max tolerance to be out of off center. So we are good to go. We don't need to sh do any shimming or change the dowel pins, so we're good to go. Okay, we got the bell housing all cleaned up. I mean, not the bell housing, the transmission cover. Got all the old gasket sealer off. Wasn't very much to begin with. We got all the holes clean. We got some new sealer applied, just a thin bead. We are using Ultra gay, gray rigid high torque. That's what was recommended to seal these transmissions. All right, so we'll put the head, uh, the transmission front cover on. We're just going to torque the uh, nut, the bolts hand tight. Let it set for an hour, then torque to specifications. All right. A further note on before assembling the front case cover is if you as you can see there are notches in the front shifter lever right there those notches fit into a lever and that lever is in the front case we took out the spring and plug that's on the top and then deep inside there's where that I can't see it, but I moved it out of the way. So now we should be able to fit the cover on cleanly without any effort. Well, hopefully this video shows you that it's not too difficult to do this procedure. It's a little time consuming and a little tedious, but I think it's real worth, worth the uh, extra insurance to make sure that that transmission is centered onto that engine. As you can see in the video, it's good to have somebody else help you so that they can turn the crankshaft while you watch the dial indicator move along the inside bearing on that front cover. 
and then when you find the high spot you just mark it with a marker and the low spot mark it with the marker on the inside of that front cover it makes it easy to find and then you can determine if you are out that five thousandths inch tolerance that you're allowed. You're only allowed five thousandths of an inch one way off center. So uh, we were ten thousandths out all the way, so you split that in half. We were right on that five thousandths of an inch, so we couldn't go any further, but we were okay, so we didn't have to do anything. But if you are, are off beyond that, then you're going to have to recenter that bell housing using some dowel pins that are off center and then that will get you within tolerances. It's good insurance to do this I think because these are transmissions are very expensive but if you are not mechanically inclined to do this you'll watch a couple of videos on how to dial in the transmission using a dial indicator on YouTube. There, there are a bunch of them and there is another video on how to do this procedure for this specific transmission. Watch that too. If you still feel that you're not really ready to do something like that, to take that transmission apart, uh, just follow the recommendations of the place where you bought the transmission from. Just install it. And if anything does go wrong because of being off-center, they will surely uh, uh, cover any problems that will arise. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.